speedtest.net. And this is the beta version. This is the old legacy version. And all you gotta do is go to speedtest.net and it will take you here. It will show you our IP here where I'm just uh, blurring mine out. And then go ahead and press go. So right now my internet is running at five megabits per second and it should be closer to 75. That's the Xfinity speed that I have at my plan here at home. And usually with Xfinity, you get somewhere between 50 to 100. With AT&T, you'll get closer to five to 20, depending on which plan you have. And different service providers obviously have different speed. Uh, in city of Chicago, for example, you could get business speeds that are up to a thousand. So if you don't know what your speed should be, most likely it's gonna be higher than this. Five is really low unless you have DSL. Wasting your time, let's start. The very first step to check the specs is to press on the little Windows icon in the bottom left corner of the screen, and click on the settings icon. When the settings open, you want to click on, system. Now, go all the way to the left side and find the about option. This will give us some information about our computer. We have the device name, processor, the installed RAM. I have 8 GB of RAM as you can see. We also have the device ID, product ID, system type and pen and touch. We can also see the Windows specifications. You can see the Windows edition and version and when it was installed. How to access through your web browser. So the first thing you'll need is to access your web browser to get to the router's menu. The menu in every router is made to be viewed through a web browser like a web page. Now you need to know what is the URL or what's the address that I need to type in the address bar at the top to gain access to my router. To find IPv4 default gateway is in general the router's own IP address and it's that same address that you need to put in your um, browser window. So um, 192.168.0.1.1.1 and .2.1 is very popular. A lot of routers use that, but it could be different. For example, Apple routers often are at 10.0.0.1, and uh, even some PC routers go there. So depending on the router you're using, it might be different. Once you know that information, what you could do is simply go into your address bar at the top and type 192.168.1.1 in my case because that's the address that was there or if you have your own address enter it there and press enter this will give you an access and here you see my links show you how to connect the internet from router to laptop via an internet cable now connect to the internet cable router LAN port and the other end of the internet cable needs to be connected to the laptop's LAN port. Now go to the computer screen to see the details. Now your computer will automatically connect to the internet. If your computer does not automatically have an internet connection, then go to control panel. Then click on Network and Internet. Then click on Network and Sharing Center. Then click on Change Adapter Settings. Now right click and enable Internet. Then right click and go to properties. Now click on the internet protocol version box. Then click OK. Your computer is now connected to the internet.